<clears throat> Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, and welcome to DC Fans United. So I went for another walk and comic book read, and this time I took Bane Conquest with me. Now I've done reviews of Bane Conquest 1 through 3, so you can check those out. I'll put links to them in the description box, um, or you can find them in my videos section. And definitely check out the videos section. I've got almost 200 videos, so, you know, if you get bored, uh, there's a lot of content there. So, Bane Conquest number four is by uh, Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, which is really awesome because they are the creators of Bane, and that's kind of what got me interested in this. I guess it's called a maxi series since it's 12 issues. But in any case, this is issue number four. As you can see on the cover, you've got Bane and Catwoman. And it's a pretty cool cover. I like it well enough. The only thing that's uh, a little worrisome for me is the white in the background. I don't want to touch it, touch the cover too much. I don't want to smudge it or something, you know, leave a black thumbprint sometime. So, other, you know, other than that, I like it. And even the white, I think it looks pretty stylish. I just, you know, got to be careful. So, we'll go ahead and start off on the first page. And at first, I kind of was a little concerned, because there's just three big panels, really kind of boring, um, just showing a guy walking, you know. And yeah, he's in night vision and heat vision, okay, that's cool. So, what it turns out is it's Catwoman that was looking at him. But I was just a little concerned at first, because it's real simplistic, you know three big panels that take up a whole page and, you know, could have easily been one panel. But, fortunately, things improve very quickly. So you turn the page and you see big splash page with Catwoman. She's confronting the guy she was looking at. And we see the title and all that. So it's called The Challenge Part 1. So she was there to get some gold coins from him or get a deal about some gold coins, a job about it or something. But it was a setup bunch of bad guys jump out and attack her. Um, she's got a little baton thing. And <laughs> then again, we have another page with the white background. I kind of liked it, though. I know it's real simplistic. It's almost a cheat not to draw your background, but it did look good in this case with the silhouetted soldiers. So she fights. Uh, they don't shoot her, but they do capture her. So she tries her best, but they capture her, and the guy runs off. And then we jump to where Bane is. So he's at this place in Kazakhstan. And it's kind of wicked, but there's this villain he is holding hostage. This guy named, uh, let's see, Dionysus. He goes by the name of, yeah, Dionysus. So what his deal is, is he's just basically a head. Um, but he's really smart and he has a lot of power and controls a lot of things. So Bane took him down and is holding him captive. And he's using him to get stuff from him. Like this whole lair, this base they're in, belonged to Dionysus and Bane just took it over. So they're pretty wicked too because the Dionysus guy asks to be put into his life support system. And they just put him in this little cage here, the lizard crawling on him. I thought that was pretty mean, even if he's a super villain. Okay, so then we go to the next page. And so... Catwoman's being held prisoner, and this guy talks to her and tells her they have a job for her. They want her to place a, this thing, a flash drive, uh, okay, in this special uh, criminal organization. They want her to go set him up. So then we go to Bane again, and it turns out they were right not to put him into his little life support system right away because he had all kinds of weapons. It says a nerve gas dispenser, a taser, rockets, a flamethrower, knives, and a gun. So they take all that stuff out of it, and then they give him his little thing that he lives in. He scoots around in that. So then, he's following Bane around, and he's kind of giving him a tour. So then they get into a little debate, which is kind of what made me like this issue. At first, I was kind of like, yeah, that's okay. But I ended up liking it a lot, because they go through kind of a back and forth about what is stronger, you know, like physical strength or mental strength, you know, which is better. So they go ahead and they play a game of chess. See, he says right here, do you play chess? Looks all evil. So, and 
I kind of like the art throughout. I mean, it's it's pretty simplistic sometimes, and the backgrounds are really simple. But I like the story. So they go ahead and play chess, and it's pretty cool. There's a, you know, it goes through all the drama and stuff, and Bayon loses. So he's never lost a game before, and so the guy says, uh, you know, do you still think strength is better than intelligence? So they're like, all right, let's do a real test of it. So they decide they're going to pick a random criminal organization and basically see which of them can take it down faster. Either Bane and his guys using brute force or Damocles using intelligence and hacking and stuff. So that's what they do. And they get all set up. They talk about it a little bit. It shows the, you know, the bad guys. They uh, do hacking too. So you could tell this is a real like modern story. So the bad guys also hack and steal money. We get a big bad ad. I don't really like ads, but it, at least when they're for, you know, something related, at least it's DC or something. So I don't mind that too much. Um, ants crawling around here. So, uh, yeah, Dark Knight's Rise. This was back when Metal was first launching. And then a big ad for Mr. Miracle. All right. So Bane is now in the sewers, he's underneath, they're going to go attack that criminal organization. And Damocles is all wicked looking, he's all strapped into his equipment there, and hacking into stuff. So Bane's going along, and then we see the heat vision again, so Catwoman spying on him. So they ended up going to the place that Catwoman was sent to, so they're both there. And then of course... Damocles kills the one guy that Bane left behind because he's going to betray them because why wouldn't he? Then we get a two-page ad for Jack Kirby, the Jack Kirby specials. I wish I'd gotten more of these. I wanted to get this one, the Newsboy special and uh, this one, the New God special. The only one I was able to get was the Dark Side special. And it was okay. I ended up giving it a pretty negative review though. So if you want to look at that... Um, that's a review I did. So, okay, we're back. Damocles here. So what he does, he just hacks into the um, military, the Russian military, and has the Spetsnaz go, and they're going to go attack the place. And he told them there was a bunch of terrorists there. So Bane's sneaking around inside and taking everyone down. And we get to the last page. He finally runs into Catwoman. Remember how they're on the cover together? <laughs> they, they do share one page together. So he gets there, he's shutting down the security system, and Catwoman's there ahead of him. And he's like, you can't stop me. And she says, oh, I'm not going to stop you. Everyone else is, because she pushed the button and activated the security. So, oh, cool. There's some kind of thing about Mr. Miracle. Oh, it's an interview with uh, Tom King and Mr. Ads. So, I'm a big fan of Mr. Miracle. I have I did like a spoiler-free review of issue one, but if you guys are interested in me doing some reviews of Mr. Miracle, I might try that. I didn't even realize this was in here until now. That's cool. So, um, yeah, that's how the issue ends. Pretty good, I guess. I'm not really sure why Catwoman did that, but I guess she wouldn't have any reason to work with Bane either. So, maybe she's just causing chaos so she can do what she needs to do. All right. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll have a review of Countdown number 28, and I'm going to do a double shot review of Damage number 3 and number 4 here real soon. All right, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and as always, oh, and be sure to um, be sure and hit the bell for notifications. A lot of people aren't aware when I post new content. All right, that's all for now, and as always, thanks for watching and being a part of DC Fans United.